What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro 5G tips and tricks and hidden features. So stay tuned to get the most out of your device. Now the first thing I want to show you is how to get a battery percentage in the upper right corner here on the phone. So by default, we do have a battery icon. However, the icon doesn't really give us a precise indication on how much battery is actually left in the phone. Now to get the percentage, all you have to do is pull down the shade here, go to the gear icon, which will take us over to the settings, go to search, type in battery, and you'll see right there battery percentage. So go there, and then there's battery percentage once again, and then just enable that. And then now you'll see that we do indeed have a battery percentage in the upper right corner. And it doesn't matter where we are throughout the operating system, you'll see that percentage right up there. So implementing this is definitely very helpful because it does let you know exactly how much battery remains here on the phone. Now heading back over to the battery settings, there are a few other helpful options that you might want to consider using or at least checking out. This one right here is battery usage. It will give you an idea of which apps are using the majority of the battery on your device. Same thing with Battery Manager, definitely look into both of those. And then we also have Battery Saver. So with the Battery Saver mode, what it essentially does is that it eliminates certain background activities and makes some other changes to the device to further prolong your battery life. Now when you enable this, you'll see immediately it changes quite a few things here. And for the most part, you don't want to have this enabled at all times because you're not getting the full experience that you typically get from the phone itself. But at the same time, if you find yourself in a situation where you know you won't be able to recharge the phone anytime soon, then this certainly will come in handy here. And in addition to that, if you find yourself using Battery Saver on a pretty consistent basis, then you can always set a schedule for it. And then there's another option here too, which I definitely recommend enabling, but essentially once the phone is recharged to 90% or above, it will automatically turn off Battery Saver. So certainly a great feature to have here if you find yourself not having access to recharging your phone anytime soon. Now with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro 5G, we do have the traditional Android 3 button navigation enabled by default. However, this device is compatible with gesture-based navigation. Now I know that many people do prefer to have the three buttons here, but if you've never tried gesture navigation, then I definitely recommend checking it out. So to get to this, you're gonna pull down the shade, go to the settings, go to search, type in nav, and let that load. And you'll see right there, system navigation. So go there. Then you'll see right here, system navigation once again, and it does say three button navigation. So go there, and then now switch to the gesture navigation, and you'll see that we now have just one small line at the bottom of the display here, instead of three individual buttons. Now to get home, you'll swipe up. To go to your recent apps, you swipe partially up, and then to go back, you swipe from the side. So that's definitely very straightforward, and again, I recommend that if you've never tried this, to at least give it a try, because who knows? You might prefer this over the three button navigation. Now if you want to switch back to that, it's very easy. Just like that, you can see the three buttons are now back. Now moving on, the next thing I want to show you is how to screenshot with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro 5G. Now there's actually two different methods that I'll be showing you in this video. And the first method is very simple. All you have to do is just hold the volume down and power button for about a second. And just like that, it takes the screenshot. Then from there, you can share it or edit it. So that's definitely very simple. Now, in addition to that, you can also just go to your recent apps button and then just pick whichever app you want to screenshot. So for this example, I'm going to screenshot this settings area right here. So I'm just going to tap on screenshot and then it captures that app right there. And then now we have the screenshot itself. And then just like the other screenshot, you can edit it, share it, all those various functions are available here as well. So very simple there. Now with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro 5G, we do have animations when doing certain things throughout the operating system here. For example, if you go to the camera app, there's a quick animation. Also leaving that app, there's an animation. Same thing with going to your recent apps, there's a slight animation there as well. Now if you wanna get rid of those animations and kind of speed things up here in the phone, then I'll show you how to do that. So once again, you're gonna to go to the settings, then go to search, type in animation, and you'll see right there, remove animations. So go there, and then now make sure that's enabled. And then now with no animations enabled here, you'll see that when you navigate around the phone, there's literally no animations. So it's definitely very fast and works really well. And if you're not a fan of animations, then here you go. That's how you remove them. Now, another thing I wanna show you how to remove is touch sounds. So essentially with touch sounds, when you tap on a button, like the home button, you can kind of hear a very slight tap. It's hard to kind of have the camera pick it up, but you can definitely hear it if you are actually using the phone. So essentially to get rid of that, go back to the settings, go to search, type in 
touch sounds, and you'll see right there, touch sounds. So go there, and then now make sure that's not enabled. And then now with that unenabled, you don't hear it anymore when tapping on any of these buttons. Now, if you're looking for a quick and easy way to access the camera app on the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro 5G, all you have to do is just double press on the power button. And this is already enabled by default. And you can do this from anywhere throughout the operating system, and you can quickly get to the camera app itself. Now, the next thing I want to show you are some various display settings for this device. We do have a very good looking 6.82 inch display and heading over to the display settings, you can get to this by going to the main settings, then going down to display. And then once you're there, you'll see a lot of different options. Now, the first one here is dark theme. So with that enabled, it makes things a lot darker all throughout the device. This is definitely ideal if you're at a movie theater, for example, or maybe just getting further into the day and you don't want a very bright screen on your phone. So you can enable that to switch to dark theme. We also have an option for screen timeout. Now, I believe the default is 30 seconds or a minute, but I did adjust this to 30 minutes since I've been making a lot of videos about the phone. You can see there's also an option for eight hours, which is kind of random, but certainly will give you a lot of time before the screen times out. So I definitely recommend trying out some different options here to see what best suits you. We also have options here for font size, so you can make the font larger or smaller. There's also display size, so if you want all the items throughout your various apps to be larger, you can adjust that here as well. There's also lift awake, which is already enabled by default. Essentially, when the display is off, if you lift up the phone, it will take you right over to the lock screen here. And then another option is called tap to wake, and I definitely recommend enabling that but essentially with tap to wake enabled, when you were on the lock screen with the display off, you just double tap on the display itself and it'll show you the lock screen. And speaking of the lock screen, we don't get a lot of different customizations with it. However, when you go over to lock screen from the display settings, this is pretty interesting. It says add text on lock screen. So I'm gonna add my name, Kevin Breeze, and save that. And then you can see that with this, when we're on the lock screen, it now has my name down here. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to do split screen with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro 5G. So to do this, I recommend having both apps already running in your recent apps, but essentially you're going to go to your recent apps button, pick the first app. So I'm going to pick YouTube, hold down on the logo, and then go to split screen. And then from there, you can pick the second app. And again, it has to be apps that are already running. So I'm going to do Chrome. So I'll pick that. And then now you can see it is split 50-50 here with YouTube up top, and then the web browser down below. And then if you wanna play the video, you can, while also browsing the web. Now, you can also take this divider and slide it up a bit, so that you get more web browser here, but at the same time, you're still able to see the whole video. Or if you wanna have one of these apps take completely over, just take this bar here and slide it all the way up or all the way down, and then you're now out of split screen. Now you can see that it did switch things over to picture in picture, which is pretty nice too. So essentially with picture in picture, you can move the video anywhere you want all throughout the sides of the display here. So definitely a cool feature as well. Now the final feature I wanna show you is called app pinning. So essentially with that, you can pick an app of your choice have it on the display, and nobody can exit out of that app unless you put in your PIN code. So I can see this being helpful if you are giving the phone to somebody and you don't want them going through all your other stuff, but maybe there's a certain app that they're allowed to use. Or maybe you're using your phone for business purposes and you might have a customer on the phone using some sort of application and for the same reason, you don't want them going through other parts of the phone itself. So to enable this, you're gonna pull down the shade, go to search, type in app, pinning, and you'll see right there, app pinning under security. Then from there, go here, make sure that's enabled. And then from there, you can just go to whatever app you wanna be pinned. So I'll pick this app, for example. Then from there, go to the recent apps button. And then from there, hold on to the logo. You'll see an option that says pin, so pin that. And then now you can see that the app is pinned and it'll keep it in view until I unpin. So as you can see, it's pinned. I can't get out of it no matter what. So I can press the uh, home button a bunch of times. It doesn't get me out of there. I can't pull down the notification shade either. So I am now stuck on this app. Now to get out of here, just hold down on the back and recent apps buttons. It'll take us to the lock screen, swipe up, put in your pin code, and then now we're out of app pinning mode. So app pinning is definitely more of a specialty feature, but at the same time, it's something that I think a lot of people aren't even aware of that their device can do. So if you find a need for that, then there you go. 
But this concludes my video on tips, tricks, and hidden features for the T-Mobile Rebel 6 Pro 5G. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, and if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. But this is Kevin here, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a great rest of your day.